savoring my Quest Bar. I'm allowing myself about one a day right now because they're so high in fiber. Uh, savoring this, it's my first thing to eat for the day. It's currently 12 o'clock. Got here at around 7.15 and just started working on coaching. Today's Monday morning, so it's the busiest day for coaching. Sunday and Monday are really busy, but Monday is like, along with check-ins, Mondays is a day that everything, all the plans get sent out for the week, for the previous week. So take you guys in the office now. We actually ordered, this morning I ordered two lamps from Amazon. They're like some black LED, that look really nice, they have different settings and stuff, so those will get here tomorrow. But for now we're working in the dark, complete dark. And it's different like when you work in the dark and you have windows in the house and it's just like kind of dark, but here it's like really dark. So, come here, turn the light on. Got Tim adjusting to the bat cave working. <laughs> and then I'm over here. Got the water. I've been sipping on that this morning. I'm trying to do a little bit over a gallon per day. I've been sipping on my Monster. I really haven't drinking too much of it. And some stuff. My wallet, key, watch, can't roll. Um, I use my Bose headphones to cancel out more noise. And I'll either not listen to anything or I'll be on Spotify and just like listen to some acute acoustic music or instrumental stuff like really quietly. And just get in my zone and do the work. So. I'm probably, we're all probably going to take a lunch break within the next hour, hour and a half and go to the big meal. So I'm definitely excited for that. Went grocery shopping last night and picked up a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's all that's going on. It's been a good day and I'm looking forward to the meeting with DHL tomorrow. Just wheeling the cart. It's really stormy outside. So, interesting the awkward. <laughs> what do you feel like eating for lunch? Uh, I don't know. Whatever you guys are gonna eat, I'll just eat. I'll just eat that. I think I'll probably go home. And Make it simple. Some. Yeah. I bought some bread that's like 40 calories, so I spray some. You're about to see a whole new. Th I'm about to change. I'm about to completely change the world to run. Yeah. Instead I still making, haven't even tried the oatmeal. Of oatmeal, oatmeal I'll be I'll be doing something crazy. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, it involves wow. bread. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you know you're committed. When you ride around with Walden Farms in your cup yes, holder, sir. In your car. <laughs> I actually use that for lunch. Got to run to the bank really quickly. Then got to run to UPS to exchange my dad's Father's Day gift because I got him some shoes and they came in. Uh, they were a little too big for me, so I got to get them in different size. What? What do you want? You want to get pit? Doing something a little different. Uh, today I'm gonna make some of these roasted potatoes or salt and black pepper red potatoes. So I am gonna measure them because it says about four servings, so I'm gonna be more accurate than that. Uh, 113 grams is one serving, I'm gonna do four servings, so we'll kind of just see what it comes out to. So technically it should come out to 152 or 452 grams for four servings. So if it's less than that, we'll have to count that. Okay, so that's about four, a little over four servings. So after my vegetables are done in the microwave, I'm gonna put that in my not shaking cooking over here. Yeah, okay, I was really hoping that that'd be like less than four fish. <laughs> but you know. Yeah, that looks delicious. Heck yeah. There's only like four fat pots that whole Potatoes are ready. I put some, I don't know why I put water at the bottom. I don't think so. I hate when like there's soaky food. Mm -hmm. And then here. Ah! Oh, I lost potato. Nah, bro. Lost potato. <laughs> <laughs> you can't draw the macro. So all these potatoes, 18 times four, times two, 36 plus two, uh, 72 carbs for all that. Plus the broccoli. See those mats here? Yep. And the finished product. Oh, so we've got this eight ounces of chicken, seasoned with salt, pepper, and some garlic. A little over four servings of red potatoes, broccoli and cheese, 
And I'm probably gonna have another like two to four ounces of chicken. I'm just kind of letting it cook on low heat because it's not all cooked through. I had to tear it apart because it's taking so long. So I'm gonna eat all this. Probably put some Cholula on the pot, which is right here. And I had a Dan and Lime Fickrick yogurt, I'm sorry. So here's lunch. You guys ever notice like whenever you walk by a car and you're leaning, you should like five times leaner in the reflection of the car? Uh, I was holy crap, my arms do not look like that in real life. <sighs> anyway, we just took some pictures for uh, Rise and Gymshark here outside of the warehouse. I'm burning up right now. So, I'm go inside, edit up a few pictures, send them over. Feel really good after lunch. Uh, I ended up not eating all the potatoes because I didn't really like them that much, right? Half of them. And then I had oatmeal to get some more carbs. Come on! Fuck all that oh, come on! 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 All right, so how many weeks out are you, bro? Uh, today would be two weeks and five days out from competition. Dang, and so I'm sure your diet's kicking in real hard. You're starting to do a lot more cardio and all that type of stuff. How's your body feeling? How's it um, responding to, to all that? Uh, I feel kind of, like, to be honest, like run down, I feel. Uh, today was, thankfully, a better day. I sort of explained in a video that I either had like, a good day Good workout. There's it's total opposites of the spectrum. Really good or really bad. And today was a better day. Um, but in general, by the end of the day, I'm just tired. I just want to go home and rest. But uh, I have to go to cardio. Right now? Tonight. Yeah. Dang. You think um, today being a better day is attributed to? You said you had a rest day yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. You think that's why you probably feel longer sure. today? Um, but. You know, with that said, you can't just take rest days when you're feeling like, especially being what is it, 
19 days out from competition. Uh, just trying to really dig right now and keep my macros under control, keep my cardio high, and uh, drop as much as I can leading up to peak week. Aside from like your body being run down, what about what about mentally? Like how how is that? How is um how are you coping like mentally? Moody um, or how, how's how's everything with that? I think that I try to do the best I can as far as like my mood, but I can I can tell just it's bad when you can tell <laughs> yourself, but uh, just little things sort of that wouldn't normally piss me off or like get on my nerves or just like getting on my nerves really quick, and I'm not snapping. I'm trying to control that, but. I say that, but I might be snapping a little bit, but uh, I can definitely tell I'm getting aggravated quicker and little things are just stressing me out more. Um, my temper, yeah. I would say, but I'm trying to keep it under control. What, so, what do you do to like help manage that? Like, What can you do to, uh, what can other people do to help manage that? They're going through the same thing. Man, I feel like it's personality type, so kind of like, I'm not really an aggressive person, Yeah. but uh, I guess my number one tip would just be like, honestly, with the food and macros, I recommend spacing it out. And like, not everyone needs a breakfast, snack, lunch. You know, everyone can do different meal timings. For example, I'm not hungry in the morning, so I save my food for later on in the day. Uh, I think that if you have like set meal timings and everything, and you're like, you're just hungry and you can't eat, I think you should definitely like plan your day to where you uh, perform optimally. And food sort of brings you up, so plan your day to where. You need to feel good, I guess, on your meals, if that makes sense. Yeah, and so like whenever you, I guess when you're in that deficit, that's what's kind of exactly. frustrating yeah, you, hurting plan. you. So yeah, when you plan your meals out to space yeah, them out the way that you need to, you'll feel better uh, overall. Your macros and yeah, um, I guess just trying to stay positive and be conscious of like, just be aware that you're going to be more grumpy. So yeah, that's try big. To, try to understand people and take things slow and think of different perspectives. And, you just have to give it more attention when you're hungry and moody. No. Yeah. When you're hangry. <laughs> combined. Yeah, bro. I mean, any concluding thoughts on today or being out, mm. being 19 days out and all that? I feel like I sound depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not depressed at all. I'm ready to kill this competition. Uh, and I just want to finish strong. So sacrifice it now, and it's going to be worth it. Freaking two and a half weeks are going to fly by so quick. Yeah. Like, so quick. And uh, we have Javon here for another two and a half weeks, three weeks. And I'm going to get so much footage for you guys. I want to document everything right now. Um, and like I said, trust me, I'm not going to let up on the gas of my prep. I'm not going to let go of my cardio. I'm not going to let go of my macros or anything. I'm going to stick to everything to the T and uh, just do the best I can to show you guys, to show myself that, you know, you can set a goal 13 weeks out follow through and uh, it's as easy as following through. I'm racing top secret things right now off this whiteboard. Uh, right now I'm about to have a quest bar so come with me. This is something I've been doing because we don't have a microwave here so what I'll do, grab my quest bar, take it outside Put it on the floor, right in the sun, and let Texas heat it up for me. Right there, nice. Oh, just melty soft. And then we'll come back inside and enjoy it. So, uh, Javon and I are about to do a commentary for Summer Shredding episode 30 or 31. We're not doing the commentary. We're not doing the commentary. We are basically doing like music and yeah. going through the workout. We're going to write the workout down for you all. So that's what we'll do. Tim is pulling up. Let's get him on camera, make him feel awkward. Mm -hmm. On the spot. P.S. Tim Parks in the CG Fitness Handicap Spot. Watch, he's about to do it. Bam, that's a spot. <laughs> it's okay, it's my building. <laughs> Truck's a freaking beast. Yeah, it is. P.S. Guys, Tim took over payments on the truck. So he's driving it, company car. What's up, bro? Thought we'd put you on the spot. <laughs> you know, I'm so hungry right now. I just heat up a press bar. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take a lunch break whenever you want. Okay. Um, or we can just go to the house in like an hour if you want to fight through an hour and then we'll make some food. Yeah. I can, I can make egg beaters for everyone again. All right, I'm done. Turn it off. Turn it back on. 
Wi-Fi is called Alphalete. And confirmed. Internet is down. Oh, no, ooh, it worked, bro. <laughs> it's been down for like 20 minutes. It just started working. I was going to say that when the internet goes down, I mean, all of our jobs, the entire team just kind of like gets put on hold. So we live on the internet, but we're about to take a lunch break. Kind of worked out nicely. Uh, Two o'clock, take a lunch break. Going to make everyone some uh, scrambled eggs and toast. Put some fat free cheese on there. Dude, that sounds so good. good. <laughs> so, here we go. The girls are out doing girl things. I'm going to finish my monster on the way over there. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's do and it. And tomorrow, everyone's going to get here a little bit early. And we're actually going to, during lunch break, go. Well, I, that's a surprise, man. I'm gonna, I can't spend that. <laughs> Ooh, what are we going to do, guys? <laughs> what are we going to do? Gonna do? Okay, Who knows? Tim with the fresh shades. Something like a million, gazillion, bajillion bucks. So I didn't know the girls were here, so they're probably having girl talk, and we're about to walk right in. I'm feeling like a man went off and said, oh. Or not. Or not. <laughs> Don't stalk us here, you weirdos. We're here. Don't worry, we're here. No, you guys need us. Don't worry, the day's saved. <laughs> Why did you guys stalk us here? You're welcome. You can, that's why. You're not allowed. Make sure you're home, don't worry! <laughs> <laughs> Chef Guzman back at it once again. Once again. Got three pans or three people? Sous Chef Tim Rodriguez. Yeah. Putting together some toast. It's probably the most cooking you're gonna see on my channel. <laughs> like, you guys should enjoy this cooking footage because. <laughs> Come July 19th. July 8th, the night of July, yeah. June, July yeah. 18th. Like, definitely do not cook as much in the surplus. And if I do, it's just white rice and not eggs. And the reason why is, drum roll, because BJ is Because BJ is Chipotle. <laughs> okay, we're live. This is lunch. We've got a whole container of egg beaters with green onion, white onion, Pico de gallo and bell peppers. Four slices of this Nature Zone honey wheat bread. Get the macros, okay? Just check these out. For two slices of bread, the macros are 0 0.5 fat, 19 carb, six fiber, and five protein. So in total, for all four slices, one fat, uh, 38 carb, 12 fiber, 10 protein. And we here we have four slices of cheese. This is not normal cheese because normal cheese has a lot of fat. This is the Kraft Single Skim Milk Fat Free Cheese. Macros per slice are zero fat, two carb, four protein. Dang. Can't really beat the macros on this meal. Uh, this is like the, the food I like to eat getting closer and closer when my macros are lower. So you have a lot of volume. Tim has the exact same meal. And Javon's got white rice, 106 carbs of rice with a container of egg beater. Those are both in there. Salt, pepper, drizzle some uh, Walden Farms on top. I'm gonna enjoy it. Good for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, this food is for us. Did you eat? Hmm? You ate though, right? Yeah, I ate. Okay, good. just making sure. I'm just making sure you got some nutrients. And a reduced fat chicken. Is that it? Oh, okay. And okay. Anything else? I should probably eat it. We <laughs> saw the uh, the way that you went in on that peanut butter container yesterday. Oh, with the fork. Yeah. <laughs> I started doing night. I get hungry, and then I got the graham crackers, and I was like, "Put peanut butter on, make little sandwiches." Great. And then yesterday we put a bunch on our yeah. We melted the peanut butter, put it with syrup, and put it on our waffles. And it was mm. Delicious. How's that bread, Tim? Wait, ask me that question with mouthful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, answer. Right now, Tim. How's it's the bread? Good. It's really good. <laughs> but, uh, this cheese, it's hard to find. Is it just H-E-B? Mm -hmm. Christian has a food high right now that you can see. Bro, those. like, when you're eating, nothing else matters. It's like feeding... But I don't care about anything that this meal right now. It feels like it's like feeding your soul. Yeah, pretty right? much. Right? When you're eating, you're like, oh. And then when it's over, it's, it's just so, so good. sad. It's so sad when it's over, isn't it? So sad. Enjoy every bite. 
got a package from Amazon. That's how I open them. And uh, you guys know, I like to work in the dark in the morning, and I'm kind of convincing Tim to start working in the dark as well as we're in the same office. Uh, but it's kind of, it's almost a little too dark to where I can't even walk around because like there's no windows or anything. So I ordered some lights, some lamps for our desks. Uh, so we'll open them up when we get to the warehouse. Casually walking in with the lamps. <laughs> we're gonna open them up. Got these off Amazon. I want to say they're like $59 a piece. They look really high quality. And see them right there in that corner. Oh, you opened her so quick, man. Yeah, you did. Oh, bro, it rotates Ooh. up and down. Ooh, bro, sexy. This looks like the lamp from like uh, all the Pixar things. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. So you got like different, it's all touch, power, reading, coffee, dim, and bright. Coffee. So we're going to plug it in, turn off the light, and I'll show you guys the different settings. And it comes with these. As you get older, I feel like the smallest things excite you. <laughs> like getting a lamp. One, two, three. three. What? Oh, bro! bro this is so, legit. so sexy. <laughs> All right, so we've got. I'm gonna get a. Right, is it good, Javon? Yeah, it's good. All right, this is uh okay. This is reading, so it's like a wider light. White, not wider. White, whiter light. Then we got the coffee one, which is more of a dim, kind of, kind of chill. And you got like a not so bright. Wait, what is this? Is it making anything different? Yeah, it, push down on it, bro. It did. I think it changed. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, and that, okay, so wow. Okay, so let's go to this one. So that's the white light. Oh, you can make it oh super my gosh. bright, bro. To full brightness. And, and that's, that's the dimming one. So we can dim it. That's sweet. Wow. I'm gonna keep it like as dim as possible and you can probably like angle it down a little bit. <laughs> Coolest purchase of the year, Amazon lights. I love it. And it's got a USB, so if I wanted to, I could plug my phone in and charge it. Sweet, guys. So cool. I'm taking my plastic. I realize how dirty my desk is now. <laughs>